The evidence is here. Our planet is indeed being visited by intelligences greater than man's. They travel in spaceships, in flying saucers. Another significant UFO picture shows not only the anti-gravity device operational, but also with it is a smaller degravitated sphere under the control of the alien intelligences of the UFO. We have received and recorded some 30,000 sightings since 1955. Have you noticed any particular patterns that develop in uh, pinpointing the UFO sightings on these maps? No, we have found no marked pattern, although we do believe that they are following two procedures. One, a surveillance of the land areas, a very close surveillance, and a close surveillance of the people. And it seems to fluctuate from one to the other. Now, through all these years of research, you must have drawn some conclusions about what they are, what the UFOs are. Well, we firmly believe that uh, what the people are seeing in those objects which we have classified as unknown are actually vehicles uh, not manufactured on this planet. How can you draw that conclusion? How do you know? Well, the vehicles have been seen in the United States, and there are good records of this uh, for the last 200 years, and actually the records go back into history for some 3,000 years. The same thing that we're seeing then are being seen today. He spent five days on a UFO, uh, he thinks. Now, there is some small time loss in there. But uh, for all intent and purposes, he spent five days on there. He did come in contact with some beings that are human-like, but they weren't human. And uh, he had quite an experience. He said he doesn't remember anything about a blue light in the first encounter last Wednesday. The blue light that they saw, he said, uh, at that instant, he got, felt like he got hit in the forehead with a baseball bat, and it knocked him out. And he woke up. He was aboard one of the craft. And uh, they never spoke to him. They led him around by the hand. They wouldn't, they wouldn't talk to him. They showed him this and that. And uh, when they let him off, he woke up. Did he say they were friendly creatures? Smiled all the time, friendly. Never harmed him. They, don't, he, they were just as nice as they could be. But there was a total lack of communication, either verbal or mental. And he said that's what made him so upset that he couldn't uh, speak with him. That's what he was very, very disgusted about that, nervous and uh, just plain disgust, the chance of a lifetime, and they wouldn't cooperate. Let me tell you, I've never seen an extraterrestrial being in my life. I wish I will, and I know I will one day. You know, maybe they're even around us, and we don't even know. Maybe they look like people, but I have seen UFOs. But other people, I'm sure if I'll ask who saw UFO here, some of you will raise your hands up because they exist. I, I shot pictures. As a matter of fact, I had a fight with my publisher because I wanted to publish the picture of the UFOs that I took in, in the book. And he said, no, because it's a cannabis. It would be against your credibility. And I did it in the end because I'm not going to back away from the truth. I once seen... Um, one minute. I once drove in the Sinai Desert. Do we have another minute? Yeah, go ahead. I once drove in the Sinai Desert. And believe me, with a, a high colonel and his driver, me and a doctor, and suddenly in mid-air, in Sinai Desert, it's clear, it was 5 o'clock in the afternoon, we saw this huge object that looked like a cigar shape hanging in mid-air. And let me tell you, it was as big as three New York blocks, and it was dark. It didn't look like a flying saucer. It looked like a cigar shape. And I was shocked. And immediately, I, I get goosebumps when I talk about it. I told the driver, Please, look what's going, look what, and the colonel, and you know what? They didn't see it. And they said, what are you looking at? I said, my God, can't you see that thing in the sky? They couldn't see it. So I think sometimes, what is really going on? Are they, is it really implanted in my mind? Is it really not out there and only, or is it there and only the people who believe in it can see it? I don't know. There are questions that I can't answer myself. UFOs can be blamed, says the University of Wyoming student newspaper. There is now striking evidence that the cause is not a configurated UFO spacecraft, but what is mistaken for a UFO is something just as new to science. Invisible flying predators, which can be photographed with the aid of an ultraviolet filter 18A and ectocolor film.